I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll practice how to find x and y intercepts for functions. So I've taken up linear functions, quadratic functions, rational functions and uh, well quadratic function once again. So let us see how to find x and y intercepts for these functions. You can pause the video, copy the question, solve and then look into my suggestions. <clears throat> now let's first understand when do we get x intercept. At x intercept, value of y is equal to 0. Perfect. So if I substitute y equals to 0, solve for x, I'll get x intercept. For y intercept, we have to substitute x equals to 0. As simple as that, right? So that is what we are going to do. Solve these equations and find out their x and y intercepts, right? So the first one is a line which will have both the intercepts. We have 2x minus 3y equals to 6. To find the x-intercept, I'll substitute 0 for y. You can say I can hide it, right? So if I hide, I get 2x equals to 6, x equals to 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So that's the answer, right? So what we are doing here is, that's the technique. So we'll write this as 2x minus 3 and substitute 0 for y and solve for x. That's the whole idea. So 3 times, I mean, this is 6, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. So we, when we solve it, you get, this is 0. So we get 2x equals to 6, and that gives you x equals to 3, right? So x equals to 3 becomes the equation. On the other hand, to find the y-intercept, yeah, let me draw a line here. What should we do? We'll substitute x as 0. So basically, we'll write this time 2 times 0, and then minus 3y equals to 6, that part is 0, so we have y equals to 6 divided by minus 3, which is 2. So the y-intercept is y equals to 2. Do you get it? So we could write our answer here as, let me use another thing to write down these answers. So here, the x-intercept could be written as x equals to 3, or also 3, 0. Is it okay? And the y-intercept will be 0, 2. So that is how we get x and y intercepts. Now, when you're given factored form of quadratic equation, in that case, how do we find x and y intercept? Well, formula is same. To find x intercepts, substitute y equals to 0. So what we get here is 0 equals 2. Let me rewrite. 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. Now, when will this equation be 0? It will be 0 for x equals to 1, that factor will be 0. x equals to minus 2, this factor will be 0. So we have two answers here. One is x equals to 1, the other one is x equals to minus 2. So these are the two x-intercepts for the given parable. Okay, now how do you find the y-intercept? For y-intercept, I have to substitute 0 here. So once you substitute 0, I get y equals to what? So you get y equals to... Let me write 0 here, so I get 2 times, when I write 0 here, minus 1, right, minus 1 times 2, and that gives me minus 4, so y equals to minus 4 becomes the y-intercept, so we could write this as 0 minus 4 or y equals to minus 4. I hope that is absolutely fine, right, so you understand it. Let's move on, we have now rational function. To find x-intercept, y should be 0, so think like this. We are trying to solve this equation as 0 equals 2. We have 2x minus 1 in the numerator and 3x plus 4 in the denominator. If that is 0, numerator should be 0, right? So that implies that 2x minus 1 equals to 0 and that gives you the value of x as 1 divided by 2. So the x-intercept is at half. Is it okay? So that becomes your x-intercept. To find the y-intercept, I have to write x as 0. So what do you get? You get y equals to 2 times, let me write down 0 for x, right? 0 for x and, uh, and 0 also for the denominator x. Let me just complete this part. And what I have here is <clears throat> 2 times 0 minus 1 and 3 times 0 plus 4. So we basically get minus 1 over 4 as the y-intercept. Do you see that? So in such equations, what you really get here is that the x-intercepts are 
when y is 0, that means the numerator is 0. So 1 divided by 2. As far as the y-intercept is concerned, this part becomes 0. So that ratio is the y-intercept. Next equation is a quadratic equation. Where to find x-intercept, we will equate y to 0. Now this requires some work. So let me show you how to solve such an equation. So we have got 0 equals 2. Let me write down the complete equation now. 2 times x minus 1 whole square minus 8. We have to solve for x, so we'll bring 8 this side, equals 2 times x minus 1 whole square, divide by 2, so 8 divided by 2, which is 4, right, equals to x minus 1 whole square, now you square root it. So when you square root 4, what do you get? You get plus and minus square root 4 equals to x minus 1, right? Now from here, we know square root of plus minus 4 is plus minus 2. So now we get x equals to 1, bringing it here, we get x equals to 1 plus minus 2. Do you get it? So that, that gives you two x-intercepts. So we get the x-intercepts here as x equals to 1 plus minus 2, right? That gives you two values. 1, is, 1 plus 2 is 3 and 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So there are two x-intercepts for this equation. Let's write down these x-intercepts as x equals to 3 and x equals to minus 1. Correct? Now to find the y-intercept, you have to substitute x equals to 0. So that is kind of simpler. So you get y equals to 2 times, so I'll write 0 for x, right? 0 for x and then calculate 1 whole square minus 8 and that gives you 2 minus 8 or minus 6. So y equals to minus 6 is your y-intercept, right? So, so these are our answers, right? These are our answers for this set of questions, correct? Okay, let me highlight them. You can go through this video and understand how we found these values. It will definitely help you to solve many functions and to find their x and y intercepts. I'm Anil Kumar. Feel free to share my videos and post questions whenever required. Thank you and all the best.